Ah, V, B, N, the Lich, video blog, network, home to weekly NFL predictions, personality profiles, professional wrestling video blogs, entertainment video blogs, sports video blogs, and more. Collection of my work going back to June of 2014 is on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Google+. Plus. RVB in Belica, Massachusetts, the only video blog on the internet that matters. Good evening, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Google+. Plus. This is Rich again, back for your third and final video blog of the night for Friday, December 16, 2016, around 8.15 in the evening in Bellic, Massachusetts. It's about 13 degrees out right, right now. Clear skies, but going to cloud over. When you wake up tomorrow in eastern New England, snow. Um, it's roughly 3 to 6 inches. Going to be out of here by midday. Then rain showers tomorrow. I mean Sunday. Monday back to cold. But moderation in temperatures for the rest of the week. And Christmas week could be a big warm up. Maybe 60. Wait and see about that. Some news to report on the RVB and Newswire. Do, 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 do. WWE Hall of Famer Brett the Hitman Hart said he beat prostate cancer. He's clear of prostate cancer. Right? So congratulations to him. Cancer sucks. And Brett beat it. Also, the LA Dodgers, the Boston Red Sox, the New York Yankees, the Detroit Tigers, the San Francisco Giants, and the Chicago Cubs had to pay luxury tax for Major League Baseball in 2016. So all of the luxury tax for, for those six teams get redistributed for the other 24 teams to use on this farm system or to do play the power man. But there's some owners who just put that money in the pocket, <laughs> which that's not really supposed to be used for. And I was mentioned on Julie Broughton's Facebook chats tonight and she shouted out to me and she thanked me for sending her a Christmas card. That's right, I send Julie Broughton a Christmas card because I'm always entertained by her Facebook chats. Julie, you're the best. Two thumbs up for you one of these days. I hope to meet her Julie in person or, or I would love to interview her for my um, video blog chats. That would be an awesome interview. And that's about it on news from the RVB and Newswire. Do, 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 do. Be back in a flash with my third and final video blog subject of the night. Get out. You're so sweet because they're cute. The more, the merrier. Go find something to do. I know, I know, I know. I'm doing good. Want to put a wager on that, Richie? I don't care about game shows. Release the holes. Time to move on, Rich. Sodium! I got places to go, people to see, things to do. To be the man, you gotta beat the man. Woo! Great quotes only on RVBN. I'm back. My third and final. Video blog subject of the night is about my eighth year anniversary on Facebook. I signed on to Facebook on December 16th, 2008, after having my own account on the previous big time social media website, MySpace, back in the mid to late 2000s. I got, well, I updated it to Facebook because everybody I knew was on Facebook. Ten times the amount of people I knew personally that had a MySpace account now had a Facebook account. And Facebook got me reconnected with a lot of old friends I went to high school with or I worked previously or family, reconnecting with family 
Plus, I made a lot of new Facebook friends by my sports trivia, being in groups of Boston sports. I've even met a few people that I'm Facebook friends in person, which that's pretty, pretty cool. Plus, on Facebook, I got to be fans of like many um, actors and actresses and sports teams and all the networks. But most importantly, Facebook got me connected to several um, TV personalities, including Julie Button and uh, Molly Rosenblatt and Elizabeth Hart and Amy Sweezy and Linda Church and Barbara Gibbs, among others. And I bet those six, six cute leggy blondes are probably now famous because I mention them a lot on Facebook. Plus, all my Facebook posts are positive. I, I like, I usually like do people's famous people's birthdays and also important history what happened on that day I also put the sports scores and also I do other positive posts I do not post my personal life on there I don't rant about this or that at all because Facebook is not a place to put negativity or air your dirty laundry of family or friends out there because you don't know who sees these posts and it could come back to haunt you. And in June of 2014, I started to do my video blog on Facebook and it's become one of the most popular things on Facebook for my friends. And I eventually went to YouTube and Twitter and Google Plus and I never will I will never ever delete my Facebook account because Facebook is very very good it gets my point across out there it's a platform for me plus it's also good to connect to see stay in touch with some of many of my old friends which did most of them are busy with family and stuff and you don't have time to see them on face to face and plus sometimes you don't have you don't want to call them up because sometimes um you might call them up and they will say where did you get this phone number and they probably would say you gave it to me <laughs> but you know some people you know it happens and that's about it on that. I'll be around eight more years on Facebook. And tomorrow, three more video blogs are coming for you. Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Google+. Plus. First video blog will be about former professional wrestler Perry Saturn. Second video blog of the day will be about my take if PED users in baseball will go into the Hall of Fame now that Bud Sealy is in the Hall of Fame and he was a commissioner when the steroid thing in baseball was prevalent. And the third and final video blog of the night, predictions on what you're going to see in television in 2017. Keep calm everybody, I'm a Julie Button guy. Molly Rose Blood, WCCO Oxen has nice legs. Elizabeth Hot so so stunning, she's the best. Amy Sweezy's awesome, awesome Amy. Linda Church of WPIX, Channel 11, New York's Rockin' Cougars got the best legs in New York City, bar none. Bobby Gives up ABC 11, has a sweet southern accent. And Lisa Bell of New Six, Orlando, Florida is so, so awesome. And she's got the fourth best legs in Orlando, Florida. And in the meantime, in between time, that's another edition of the Rich Video Blog Network videos. Good night, everybody. And stay safe.